Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be taking a closer look at this new video card from Asus. This is the Asus AMD Radeon HD 7770 GHz edition. So let's go over a few of the features on the box here. It's using AMD's custom Direct CU cooler. Also, the uh, AMD Radeon graphics integrated. You can support up to six monitors using AMD Ifinity technology off of this single video card, but that is if you're lucky enough to have six DisplayPort 1.2 capable monitors that support daisy chaining. You also get a one gigabyte GDDR5 frame buffer, and the gigahertz edition in the name of this video card comes from the stock 1000 megahertz speed of the core clock on the 7770 GPU, and ASUS has bumped it up to 10 1020, 1020 megahertz for this particular version. Next up, let's go for an unboxing to see what all comes with this video card. For accessories, you get uh, the ubiquitous digital DVI to analog RGB D sub plug right there. You also get a crossfire bridge, which I will pop out of its little clamshell. There you go. Two way crossfire bridge right there. This card is compatible with two way, three way, or four way crossfire X. Of course, you must have a compatible motherboard as well. Also in here, you get the ASUS Speed Setup Guide, which will walk you through some of the basics of installing a graphics card. You get the ASUS VGA driver and manual. So you get a manual on that. Uh, you will also get some of the ASUS utilities, and you will also get the driver for this GPU. Now, it's always best to get the latest drivers, especially for new graphics cards, especially for a new GPU architecture like the GCN Graphics Core Next architecture that's used in this particular GPU because they will be refining those drivers as time goes by and you will get better compatibility for games as well as increased performance. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else in this box and I'm going to say no. Probably not. If there is, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Next up, let's look at the video card itself. So there's the ASUS 7770 and I'm going to start off by flipping it over to show you the back because this is as close as I can get to showing you the GPU itself. It's right there beneath these four spring-loaded Phillips head screws. You can remove those to pop off this entire direct CU cooling unit that ASUS has installed. Speaking of the GPU itself, uh, this is again the new GCN architecture from AMD. Uh, it's built on a 28 nanometer process from Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation. It has no fewer than 1.5 billion transistors. Uh, you get the aforementioned one gigabyte frame buffer. It's on a 128-bit memory bus and your GDDR5 memory is clocked at 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, you also get 640 stream processors, and you get, with this card, the uh, DirectCU to, I'm sorry, DirectCU cooling solution from ASUS. Now, that is referring to these heat pipes right here, which go down and actually make direct contact with the GPU underneath there. The other thing about this cooler is that if you do unbolt those four screws, that is all you need to do in order to actually remove this. Now that's uh, useful for a few different scenarios. One is if you need to clean it out, or two is if you want to go with a different cooling solution. This is a very good cooling solution, I will say, though, right off the bat, so uh, probably mostly useful for cleaning it out. You need a six-pin PCI Express power connector to plug in right there in order to power this card. On the bottom here, we can see the uh, PCI Express plug right there. It's a full-length 16x PCI Express plug, and this is compatible with PCI Express revision 3. That's 3.0. So um, you don't worry if you have an older motherboard with PCIe 2.0 or 2.1, uh, you will still be able to use this card. It's backwards compatible, and that's mainly a bandwidth boost that you get from PCIe 3, and this card is not going to saturate even the PCIe 2 bus, so fear not about that. It's just a little bit of forward compatibility. Here along the top, there is an extra beam, and that's to provide a little bit of extra support, a little bit of extra rigidity to the card. You get your crossfire connector right there, and uh, earlier I said two-way or three-way or four-way Crossfire X. I need to correct myself. This will be two-way Crossfire X compatible, but not three-way or four-way, hence the single Crossfire X connector. Here on the top is the cooler. The fan will uh, pull air from inside your case, direct it down over that cooling, uh, the actual fins from the radiator right there, which are fed heat from those two copper heat pipes. Finally, here at the back, we can see the uh, two-slot cooling solution. Uh, this is a two-slot card, I should say. Uh, the upper slot here is used just for ventilation. On the bottom, we have two DisplayPort outs, and again, those are DisplayPort 1.2 compatible, so they do support daisy chainings. We got an HDMI out, and that's HDMI 1.4 compatible. And finally, we have a dual-link DVI out. 
And lastly, here is a quick measurement of the card. Uh, the PCB itself measures just about 8.5 inches. We get a little bit more overhang uh, from the end of the cooler right here, which gives you a total length of about 8 and 3 quarters inches. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the ASUS AMD Radeon HD 7770 Direct CU video card. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.